jump lines and callbacks. Anytime you have a publication where the story continues on some other page with intervening pages, such as this setup, where I have story starting on page one, then page two and page three are full page ads and the story then picks up on page four. Anytime you have that, it's a good idea to tell your reader where the story picks up. You've seen this in any magazine. Many times, stories that start out early in the magazine or front page the newspaper jump to quite a few pages further on the publication. This is a jump line. It tells the reader this story continues on page four. You can see over here, that's where it, in fact, continues. But it's not manually created. I typed in continues on page, and then I use a special symbol to tell me what page number that is. If I add more pages here, you can see, when I go back to page one, that the page number automatically updates to match where the story continues. This is a jump line. Creating them in InDesign is actually very easy. I'm going to delete this. We'll start a new one from scratch. So I'm going to create a text frame down here. And I'm going to choose a color that contrasts with black so that we can read it. And I'm going to type in story continues on page. And then we go up to type, insert special character, markers, next page number. A lot of people have seen that and thought, Next page number, is that like, if I'm on page one, it says page two. If I'm on page two, it says page three. No, it's the next page number for the particular story, where the story continues. If I choose next page number, right now it says one. That's because this text frame is very far away from that text frame. They don't line up. But as soon as this frame touches that one, you can see the marker changes I'll just stick this over on the right. It changes to reference page six here because that's where the story goes. I'm going to zoom out just a bit. You know what? I'm going to zoom out a lot. And then I'm going to turn on view, extras, show text threads. Then you can see a little blue line going from the outport of this text frame all the way down to the import of where it connects to, the next frame in the thread. And that's what the jump line is telling us. The next frame in this thread is on page six. And that's what the next page number marker does. Now, a callback is when you're on page six and you want to know where the story started from. You have to tell readers so that if they're flipping around through the publication, which they often do with newspapers and magazines, that this is not the beginning of the story. So we'll say continued from page, and we'll just make it italics. Then we'll go to type, insert special character, markers, previous page number. And that creates the callback. So it continues from page one. Now, you can put this anywhere you want as long as some part of this text frame overlaps the story text frame. So this is a callback, where it's coming from. Where it jumps to is a jump line. And they're easy to create.